Hey everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Bootwell team. In this video, you will learn how to go in and configure your settings inside Blog MVP before you can actually launch your very first blog. Let's get started. So here we are inside Cheetah in our one page website. Now what we're going to do first is go here to the Blog MVP area and configure all the necessary settings to start connecting your first blog. Now as you can see, I have three different blogs created already. To create a brand new blog, all you have to do is go up to the very top, select a new blog, then enter your name or the name of your blog, the description, and then upload your thumbnail. Now we already have three blogs and we're going to be working with my first blog ever. So let's go ahead and cancel out of here. First you can select edit blog, which will take you inside the blog to start editing. And then you also have these three little dots here. If you click on them, you're going to get the blog overview option, which too will take you inside your blog where you can look at everything that's happened as it pertains to your blog. And then you also have mark as favorite. So just imagine as you continue to grow your blogs, you're going to have a bunch of different blogs here. And to make it easier to access the one that you're working on, all you have to do is just mark it as a favorite. And then it's going to separate this blog from all of your others. Now let's go in here, go ahead and remove from favorites and we're back to square one. Next, let's go in here and go to update. Again, if I select update, it's going to give me the option to go in and again, change the name, the description, as well as the thumbnail. And then you also have the option to delete your blog. So from here, we're going to go ahead and go right to the blog overview. Now again, this is a summary of everything as it pertains to your blog. I currently have three posts, one instantaneous post, zero scheduled post, two dripping post, one published post, and so on and so forth. Now we're going to go through here and configure all of the settings before connecting and starting your own blog. So first let's start with categories. Here is where you can go in and create your categories. Again, I have two that we'll be working with. To create a new category, just go here, select plus new category, enter the category name, and select save. We have recipes, we have workouts. Next, let's go into authors. Now, in order for you to create a blog, you have to have an author. So as you can see, I've created Jane Doe, and she currently has written five articles. Now, to add a new author, all you have to do is go up to the plus new author, select that button, go in and enter your bio information as well as your social media information. Go in and change your avatar by uploading and changing your picture. And remember to select save. Now we're going to stick to the one author that we've already created. So let's go ahead and click on authors. And here she is. Next, let's go to post templates. Now post templates are templates that you can actually go in and create and customize to your liking. So as you can see, I have a workout template and I also have a recipes template. So let's go take a look at them here at this workout template. You can go in and select update and then use the toolbar up at the very top to configure your actual blog and template. Next, you'll go up here to title your template. You can also add a thumbnail for this template. You can categorize your template and then add an author to your template. Go ahead and select save and you're done. You've created a brand new template. Now I did the same thing with the recipes template and select save. And now I've got two templates that I can work with. Next, let's go over here to post. Now here I have three total posts. As you can see from this one here, one is called workout one dripping. And then this one here is a workout intro and it also says dripping. Now those are the type of posts and I'll show you exactly what I mean once we enter the actual post. And here is a recipe post. So from here, let's go in and create a new post by selecting the new post button. As you can see, we have a blank post, but we went in and created two templates. 
So to save us some time we can go in and actually choose or select a template and then make the adjustments to our liking. To do that just simply go over to the right here. Go to Select Template. Go down to the drop down menu of Select Template. And select whether this post is going to be a recipes template or a workout template. Once you've done that all you have to do is go in and edit your actual post. Once you've completed editing your post you can go up here and title your post. Go here and you can change the thumbnail of your post. Let's go in here and go ahead and select this one right here. You could change the category. Go down to Authors. So next you have your time cycle. Your time cycle is going to determine when you want to post this to your blog. You have three options. One is going to be scheduled, instantaneous, or dripping. Instantaneous means that once I select save up at the very top, this is going to post immediately to my blog, unless I've selected draft on. My other options are going to be scheduled. Go down to this area and click here and select the day that you would like to post this. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and select July 31st. Then I can go in and select a time. You can use your mouse wheel to go up or down. Now I want to select and post this early in the morning. So let's go ahead and select 8 a.m. So I have this post being posted at a scheduled time and date of July 31st at 8 a.m. Custom URL. Now this is basically telling you where your post will be located. So you have your dot com backslash workout dash hard. And here you can go in and select or change your template. Let's go to dripping. Now the best way to describe or explain dripping is that if I'm new to your blog and I've joined or visited your blog for the first time, what's going to happen is it's going to keep track of when I return. So on day one or day two of my return, that is when this post will be available for me to see. Now since we already have two dripping ones set, let's go ahead and select instantaneous. Let's go up to the very top and select save. Go to post list and now I have four different posts. So here I have an instantaneous post that I've just created. I also have a recipes post and let's go in and see when this is going to post. So if I go up to time cycle, that one too is set to instantaneous. Go back and then these are going to be set to dripping. So if I go into update on this one here and go to time cycle, you're going to see dripping one day. And then the next one is going to be time cycle dripping second day. Now if I go down to the dripping timeline, this is going to break it down for you as to how many different dripping posts I have set. And then next, going into edit blog is going to take you exactly where we first started. You can go in and change the name of your blog, change the description, and change the thumbnail. Let's go back into the blog and next let's go to settings. Here are my blog settings so I can go in and configure preview news. Show future dripping post. I've selected off. Show scheduled post preview. I've selected off and then how I want my date to be displayed. Let's go ahead and leave it exactly like that. Here you can go into your SEO settings for your blog. You can go in and add your keywords your meta tags and choose or select whether or not you want to have this indexed. Select save and you're set. And finally you can go over to import blog. 
Now if you have a pre-existing block that was created inside Pixel Perfect, it will show up right in here. And you can easily transfer that into Cheetah. And that is how you go in and configure your settings inside Blog MVP. I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frankie Menez with the Build Raw team. Thank <laughs> you.